With two minutes and two seconds left in the fourth quarter against Alabama, T. Martin faked the run to Travis Henry, rolled out of the pocket, and hit wide receiver Cedric Wilson on an out route. That completion was the beginning at a run toward the record books. Following a legend is never easy, especially if that legend is Peyton Manning. That's something I think that every backup quarterback who has a chance to be the guy has to go through. You know, that's natural human nature for you, for people to say that they want you to be like the guy before you. T did a great job of being T. Martin and not trying to be Peyton Manning. But let's be real for a second. Martin struggled in the beginning of the season. Through six games, he was completing just 51.3% of his passes. But then came a trip to Columbia. One completion turned into two, then three, then a score. Martin's going to throw it. Got a man in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee, Jermaine Copeland. Four turned to five, five turned to six, and it just kept going. He wasn't, again, wasn't worried about trying to get the credit. He, all he wanted to do was win games and do his job. His job on Halloween in 1998 was setting the record books on fire. With three minutes left in the third quarter, Martin finds Peerless Price. So there it is, the new NCAA record, 24 consecutive passes. 23 consecutive completions in one game and 24 consecutive completions in multiple games. But all good things must come to an end. On the very next play, Martin looks for David Martin on the curl and incomplete. I had no idea the record was even a thing until I threw an incompletion in the crowd cheer. I thought that was strange. The quarterback wasn't phased by the incompletion after the game. Did well, you get on David Martin for dropping that one pass? Nah, God bless David <laughs> Martin. Let me know I'm not perfect. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Martin wasn't, but the Vols still were. 7-0, this time behind the arm of T. Martin. The new record holder? is former ECU quarterback Dominique Davis. He has both the single game and multiple game completion records, throwing 26 consecutive completions in a single game and 36 over the course of two games back in 2011. I'll go ahead and send it back to you.